Hello. So you may have noticed I've not been around for a little bit. It's basically because BMX Streets, Session, etc. hasn't really been doing anything new for a little while. And I've kind of just not been playing many of those sort of games. I do want to, it's just we're waiting for updates. Like the Session update for the physics and the new map. Prague, is it? Is coming out on the 26th. BMX Streets, the new physics thing, is coming out on the experimental branch in a few weeks, whenever that is. And in the meantime, I've actually been playing this, Carex Street, quite a lot in recent times. So I figured I'd just do a video on this to kind of fill the gap while we're waiting for other stuff. And yeah, let's see what happens. playing online there's a bunch of people that go on this tall gear bit for obvious reasons I guess a lot of people like to drift I should put a disclaimer up I'm not like a pro drifter or anything let's do it for fun here and there so yeah if you feel like commenting on how crap I am then well, by all means but I definitely don't see myself as a pro or anything. But yeah, this kind of has been my go-to chill game for a little bit. While we wait for more stuff to come out. I really need the BMX Streets physics update to come out soon. I'm not quite feeling it the way it plays at the minute. There's something kind of rough about it right now. This guy, what is he doing? Oh. Still going. Carnage oh. everywhere. You know what? It is actually quite hard to do this and just talk at the same time. Like, I'm not the best drifter, so I do need to concentrate, I feel like, to do it right. Our choice is the Nissan... What is it? 300ZX? Or something like that. Oh dear. But yeah. Don't panic to everybody who's watching this. I'm not going to tend to a car channel or anything like that. Maybe nice as a little break now and again. But I don't want to get back into session. Do spot sessions on the new map. And all that kind of stuff. And also... Well, MASH has been teasing that... The physics update is coming out in the next few weeks and that was a week or so ago so we could expect it at any time who knows what's going on with that would be nice because the game's kind of if you look at the peak players it was like 60 something I think not ideal definitely needs like a second complete release it's probably a good job that it's not out on console right now because that would have been an almighty mess, I think. Well, we've got one run done. Clean-ish. Without accident, at least. That person's tires popped. Is that what happens when it goes down to zero? If you're wondering, the economy in this game's kind of busted. Like, you have to buy fuel, buy tyres. You don't get all that much money. It's a bit of a pain. Which is why I used Wiimod to just sort of get enough money to do what I want. Which is just sort of make some drift cars and enjoy myself. I don't race online or anything like that.
to work on being a bit smoother, I think. I am on a controller, I don't have a wheel. I do want to get one at some point. I did have another idea for a video as well. Um, the old potato in his live stream, which was either today or like a day ago by the time I post this. Scoot maps apparently work on BMX streets. So the Bayview map, which is a really massive street map, actually works fine. And it works exactly as you'd expect for some reason. I'm not sure why that works, but... Oh dear. So I definitely want to give that a go, but I might wait until the new physics are out. The one thing with the new physics, if you don't know, is it's just going to be the bike. Not the person, because I guess the animation for the guy isn't completed yet. But from everything MASH has been showing, from what I can tell, it seems like the engine's going to be a bit more robust than it is now. Because if you watch any of my old videos on it, I've kind of been complaining about grinds sliding off. All sorts of weird stuff happens in it, which... I don't know, for somebody that likes really detailed technical things, it doesn't really work out too great for me. Trying to get too close to this guy. Again. I'm a bit of a drift beginner. I'm certainly not a vet at this sort of thing, so bear with me. Interesting light. I guess the other cool thing with this is it's really easy to make a video because it's just one long stream going up and down. I'd have to like just edit out the screw ups like tricks because you can spend like 15 minutes trying to get one trick which lasts what 10-15 seconds in the video? I don't know it's hard. Something like this you know just talking random nonsense the whole time Okay, it does make me feel better that other people screw up as well. That is nice. It doesn't make me feel too bad about myself. Right, different time of day. Completely different car. The problem is it's hard to adjust when you keep changing cars so often. You get used to one setup and you forget how other cars drive. But for the most part I do like a clean kind of white and black setup. Or black with some white or maybe red in there somewhere. Everything ends up looking the same for me. I don't know. Simple is best. Yeah, this is definitely more awkward to drive. The first one that was going in is kind of the one I'm most comfortable in, I feel like. can kind of string it together in this. But yeah, I'm sure some people will have some things to say because they're more into this than I am and they probably know better. Yeah, I'm not really a car person so much. I do like car games, but in real life, I don't actually drive because I don't need a car. Like living in Tokyo, it's just not really necessary. If you live in the countryside, you definitely need one. Or a lot of other areas because the trains won't reach, but 
Tokyo, Yokohama, you can go everywhere on a train, or at least on a bus, and it's super convenient. In fact, driving around here is a nightmare, because it's just so dense. It's hard to know where you're going at all times, even with, like, navigation and stuff. Oh, God. Should probably let them go. So yeah, what has everybody been doing in the meantime, like waiting for stuff to come out? It's a bit of a weird period. It does feel like the hype for streets is kind of gone. We definitely do need like a clean release, especially for console. It needs to be strong for the game to survive, I think. I do hope that it wasn't like the end of it, because that would suck because it's kind of been the game we've been waiting for all this time. And so far, has it met expectations? I don't know, it's kind of hard to say, right? Well, it's definitely not met expectations to what everybody thought it would be, especially on initial release, like it was kind of a disappointment. We've seen things change. Hopefully, it's going to change a lot, almost like a whole new game. Almost, in terms of the way it feels. Well, that's what it needs. So, I guess we just have to wait and see. We do have something to play in the meantime, if you think about it that way. More power. If anybody does have any tips when it comes to drifting, like... Yeah, I'm not pretending I'm great at it or anything. I don't know. I can mostly put it together without screwing up. Well, at least in that first run I did. There was a lot of people all over the place. Not that bad. I don't think. But, yeah. Probably not comfortable enough to tandem either because I kind of have my own pace of doing things and I'm not very good at matching other people. This video is so all over the place. So I understand if you click off or you're not interested. I figured I should upload something though because I haven't done anything in like a month. I haven't been particularly inspired by anything. There's something about session mod maps which don't inspire me a lot. I think it's because the base maps actually look so good and feel so good to play. But the mod ones don't quite line up, or it looks a bit jank in comparison. And streets, even with the experimental build, it's not giving me what I need tech-wise. So I'm definitely kind of on hold. Yeah, weird times. But I'm definitely not going anywhere. If people like this sort of stuff, I could go into this a little bit more now and again as well, but it is primarily a skateboard BMX game channel. I don't want to like, go in a weird direction away from what everybody subscribed from. It's also what I prefer the best. I prefer creative things. This is chill, but I wouldn't call it creative as much. to base. Oh dear. And I guess we'll have one more run. I do like these sort of sedan type cars that you see a lot of in Japan. A lot of the modded ones look like this as well. People like them either like white or pitch black. 
It's always that certain type of people that drive them. Well, the modded ones at least. Call them kind of Yankees. Which is nothing to do with the American term. Well, maybe it was from that originally, but... Yeah, like young guys. Maybe with like a girlfriend driving next to them. That you see driving these sort of things. I don't know what it is with like the image of this being a cool car to drive. I don't know. They do look nice. But compared to like the UK, what young people want to drive it is kind of a different thing. They kind of want to have this like executive sort of car. I don't know. Different culture, different tastes, I guess. But yeah, this is definitely the sort of look you'd see from those sort of people. Don't know if they'd be drifting or not, but you know, hey. So yeah, while I'm here, I may as well talk about what's coming up. I will try and do a video on session as soon as the DLC comes out. It's basically the bounce glitch is going to be fixed. Maybe some other things. We don't really know if there's going to be anything major. I wouldn't expect too much because it seems like we're always waiting for something to happen. Like no new animations and stuff like that. But at least if the bounce glitch is done, getting lines to not look like crap will be saved. Hopefully. I don't know. I guess the same with a lot of things now. Don't get your hopes up when it comes to a release. Even updates. Wait until it's out. Judge for yourself. Maybe don't expect the world. That seems to be the way things are going. Like Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown as well has been a disaster since launch. Screwing people up again. There's another guy coming as well. Hey, we're in Japan, you gotta be polite about it, right? Yeah, expecting a lot of releases to be good on launch seems to just be not really a thing anymore, unless it's like an indie game. And even then, there's updates and constant things happening, so. Take everything with a grain of salt. I'll play the session DLC for what it is, but yeah, let's see if it's actually any good or not, or makes any difference. It's probably just going to be a map and no bounce glitch, to be fair. Some clothes things, but I don't really care about clothes. I want the game to feel maybe different in some way. I've kind of had the same thing for a while now, and I know they've had issues. Like, hiring people for animations. Who knows if that's even, like, fixed yet. They've got somebody hired or not. They had two people that have didn't, like, fit the company or whatever. So all that stuff's been postponed the whole time. So maybe it won't even happen. I don't even know if Unreal Engine 5 is being... working anymore. The ironic thing is, Test Drive Unlimited, Solar Crown, the publisher is Nacom, and Session is also Nacom. I get the feeling they're just pushing devs to like get shit out for money. Which is, it's probably their job, right? Like they just don't care about quality or anything like that. It's a business. They just want money, so get it out, get it done, stop spending money. But yeah, it's definitely don't work under them. I don't even know who you'd want to work under, to be honest. Just be a solo dev, and don't rely on publishers. At least Mash is a solo dev, but he's got his own problems. And we never know what he's doing. So, that's its own thing. You can't win. Oh, tits. But yeah, I was kind of running out of stuff to say anyway covered most of the things that I was thinking about. So, when we get to the top, we'll call it there. I did just want to put something out to show that I'm still alive. I am still playing these games, 
not these, but you know, session and whatever. It's just I'm only going to do it when I'm inspired to do something original. I don't want to just churn out crap for the sake of it. Which is probably a bad idea for a YouTuber. You're supposed to churn out crap constantly, otherwise you fall off. But I don't know. I don't like crap. Controversial, I know. This car's pretty hard to drive, to be honest. Not that I guess I'm driving it the right way. But you know what I mean. I've got the feeling a bunch of people are going to hit me in a minute. Because I can hear them. God. See, I'm a public nuisance. Going against... That's what you get for not having the hood on. You can't see where everybody else is. I don't usually go against what everybody else is doing. And yeah, expect something on the 26th. We'll do a quick run around here, actually. Also, without the hood, you can't tell what gear you're in. So I keep losing track. This is kind of a fun place to practice as well, if you just want to not be in anybody's way. Or you could just play offline. But it is nice to feel like you're playing with other people. Not just drifting alone silently. Sometimes when you're online, this place gets packed as well, because it just depends what everybody's feeling like. But yeah, you can just go around this forever. It's kind of a fun, chill thing to do. Okay, we'll do one more. Then we'll call it. Yeah, let me know if there's anything else that's been happening. I haven't been following a lot of other games recently. I guess not a lot's been happening, it's just a quiet time overall, which is why you don't really see anybody releasing any content for the most part. But yeah, anyway, enough rambling. Let me know what you think. If you hate it, that's fair enough. Be back with some sessions soon. Hopefully, some BMX treats if MASH updates. Please, MASH update soon. Anyway, thanks for a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon with some actual proper content. Bye.